fully integrated iron and steel plant, Bukaro is the country's first Swadeshi steel plant that was built with maximum indigenous equipment, material and know-how. It produces all three grades of steel, killed, semi-killed and rimming. Thoroughly revamped and modernized, Bukaro is today country's largest source of flat steel products that offers wide range of product mix of different grades and specifications, catering to the needs of a variety of modern engineering industries including railways, wagon building industry, automobile, pipe and tube, white goods, barrel and drum manufacturing, LPG cylinder etc. Successful research in innovative product development and finding technological solutions to the most challenging customer requirements has earned Bocaro Steel Plant several accolades at both national and international levels. With deep conviction in its innate ability to excel and sight set firmly on the impending growth trajectory, Bukaro Steel Plant holds the prospect of becoming the country's largest single location steel manufacturer. Massive expansion and modernization plan has been undertaken. Plant is coming up with 1.2 million ton state of the art coal rolling mill 3 for enriching its product portfolio and meet the future challenges. Getting back to the corridor of history, Bocaro Steel Plant had started taking shape in 1965 in collaboration with Soviet Union as the fourth integrated iron and steel plant in the public sector. It was first incorporated as a limited company on 29th January 1964 and later merged with Steel Authority of India Limited, first as a subsidiary and then as a unit. First blast furnace was started on 2nd October 1972 and the first phase of casting of 1.7 metric ton ingot steel was completed on 26th February 1978 with the commissioning of third blast furnace. The saga of Bakaro steel plant that started five decades ago has today transformed into a vibrant world-class corporation state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities and world's best process know-how certified with ISO 9001-2008 quality management system makes Bokaro Steel Plant one of the most trusted names in the world of steel business. Transformation can be seen everywhere or handling shop Equipped with tiplers, stackers and reclaimers receives blends, screens, various raw material and makes uninterrupted supply of consistent quality of raw material to different shops. All batteries in co curvan complex are either thoroughly revamped or rebuilt, making them highly energy efficient. Completely rebuilt batteries number 1, 2 and 5 have almost zero emission. Bukaro with 8 batteries of 69 ovens each meets all its coke requirements in-house. Constant upgradation of Sinta making facilities has expanded the production capacity of Sinta up to 6.2 million ton of Sinta per annum. All five blast furnaces have been equipped with bellless top charging system, coal dust injection facility, double cast house and online monitoring through underburden probes, ensuring improved hot metal quality with increased yield at low coke rates. Combined capacity of blast furnaces is 4.585 million ton of hot metal per annum. Installation of slag granulation plant in blast furnaces and use of biodiesel for lacquers reinforces plant's commitment to eco-friendly practices. Steel is made in steel melting shop number one and two through sophisticated LD process. 
with five LD converters of 130 ton capacity each in SMS1 and two LD converters of 300 ton capacity each in SMS2. The plant has production capacity of 4.36 million ton of crude steel per year. Processing of steel is done both through the ingot as well as continuous casting route as per customer's demand. Continuous casting shop is armed with two double strand casters. It produces mild steel of drawing, deep drawing, boiler and tin plate quality and low alloy steel of LPG, Selka and API grade. Straight mold slab caster and eddy current based automatic mold level control system ensures casting of internally clean and defect free slabs with superior surface finish. Hot strip mill at Bukaru steel plant is the only continuous hot strip mill in the country designed to roll thin and wide strips of thickness varying from 1.2 mm to 20 mm and width from 930 mm to 1830 mm. Conventional reheating furnaces are replaced with walking beam reheating furnaces leading to uniform heat of slab with no skid marks. Rolling mill has been revamped with hydraulic automatic gauge control. Work rule bending and laminar cooling ensuring superior physical and chemical properties with excellent surface finish and thickness accuracy in HR coils that only dominate domestic market but also add enormous value to sales export mix. HR coils from hot strip mill are either sheared and finished to desired sizes in coil finishing shop or re-rolled in cold rolling mill at ambient temperature for thinner gauge strip with very smooth and dense finish with improved mechanical properties. Bukaro's product range also includes different grades of galvanized products including zinc coated CR strips, galvanized plain sheet and galvanized corrugated sheets. During the last 50 years, Bukaro has developed a comprehensive support network including water management, captive power plant, engineering and repair shops, foundries, centralized maintenance shop, refractories plant, fire services, railway traffic etc. Setting a new paradigm of corporate governance by combining profitability with its corporate social responsibility, Bokaru Steel Plant has undertaken massive developmental programs in and around its plant area, covering all villages and residents within the radius of 20 kilometers, benefiting more than 3 lakhs people. Comprehensive development of nearly 7 adjoining villages as a model village, provision of basic amenities, construction of roads, massive plantation, erection of street lights, construction of staff quarters, development of parks, building of schools for the underprivileged children and building of hospitals are commendable initiatives in the right direction. Through service swasth kendra, medical camps and his paths and jivni, plant has made sincere efforts to provide quality health care even to the last person of the society. Socio-economic empowerment of the deprived section of the society has always been thrust area of Bukaro's CSR activities. The initiatives taken in this direction are setting up of a private ITI center for imparting technical education to the local youth, memorandum of understanding with jar craft to train rural women in handloom weaving and adoption of children from primitive Birhau tribe under Gyan Jyoti Yojana for imparting them free education along with free boarding, lodging, educational facilities. Apart from this, imparting free education to children from poor families through the Bokaro Steel Kalyan Vidyalay and Bokaro Steel Balika Vidyalay is another important CSR initiative. Promotion of sports has been an integral part of the corporate philosophy of sale right from its inception. In line with this philosophy, Bokaro has undertaken commendable steps for the development of sports, including spotting, budding young talents, 
and giving them the training in the selected sports disciplines to develop them to match the national and international standards and bring laurels to the nation.